Hello, I have titled this short module, Challenge-Based Learning, Media Management, Don'ts. It's a companion piece to my set of media management do's. Before I begin, please know that all of the opinions offered come from the School of Hard Knocks. I'm hoping to spare you some of my CBL goofs. I've organized this presentation into five don'ts. Don't number one, don't teach tech. I think students learn the media tools they need to use and are more likely to retain this knowledge when they apply it toward a particular project. Personally, I found this to be true when I've learned skills for GarageBand and iMovie in order to create these modules. On the other hand, when I learn tech skills for the sake of learning them, the skills don't stick. Number two, don't let media take the driver's seat. I've learned that for both children and adults, there's a natural inclination to start focusing on media right from the outset of a project challenge. They'll start talking about what kind of video or website they might create even before they research their issue and decide on a challenge solution. If this is not checked, the result may very well be an impressive show of some kind with lots of bells and whistles. But too often, critical thinking and authentic learning will then take a back seat. Number three, don't take a laissez-faire attitude towards interviews. Some of my most inspiring experiences with CBL have come as the result of students interviewing interesting experts. But sometimes the first impulse is to go for a convenient interview with a parent, sibling, or friend. Usually this is done for the sake of opinion gathering, which turns out to be of little consequence. Interviews also require more planning than some other kinds of research. Recently, one of my students very properly arranged an interview assuming her subject would be willing to have the interview published as a podcast. Wrong. And she found this out at the last minute. Time management can strike in other ways as well. Last spring, a group of students had a wonderful interview planned with a pediatrician. However, she canceled due to a medical emergency and a deadline prevented rescheduling. Next is a pet peeve. Don't encourage skits. I teach high school, and in my experience, the skits are duds. Usually they are poorly produced and superficial. Well, like I said, this is a pet peeve. Another pet peeve of mine is death by PowerPoint. While I don't teach much tech, I do spend 15 or 20 minutes of class one day showing the students some dreadful slides. We usually have a good laugh, but most of the basic lessons stick. I think presentations that reflect on the CBL process are extremely valuable. But there are a surprising number of people out there who think that slides are made to be read by the audience, or even worse, the presenter. Let's help our students get into good habits with media. Thanks for listening. And if you have found this helpful, please check out my video on challenge-based learning, media management, do's.